Approving the resolution in the Committee of the Whole, Senate President David Mark described the late Admiral Mike Ahibe as a patriotic Nigerian who wept for the peace and unity of the country. As a patriot, he didn't bother himself for what part of Nigeria he come from, as far as I understand Nigeria, is Nigeria. And his last few remarks before he died, I talked to him about three days uh, before he finally gave up. He phoned and he told me he was at the end of the road. And I tried to discourage him from saying that. But in a very courageous manner, very vibrant, he said, well, he's telling me the fact he knows he's not going to live any longer than this. And that was going to be his last phone call. And the lawmakers said the late Ahibe will be missed by many. And we began to look at the process of how a democratic structure can be placed from scratch to enable the government to hand over in items. But today that is easy. Because Admiral Ahibe and his boss, General Abdul Salam, worked assiduously together with the political class and ensure that it was a smooth handover in terms of the civilian administration. My participation was the direct opponent and uh, he would always listen to others and he would make his contribution very effective. It was because of who he was that he was given the task of making the facts. At that time, we missed my family, we missed his wife's counsel, we missed his president, we missed him. The Senate observed one minute silence and Ersa resolved to immortalize the late Admiral Mike Okai Ahibi. Ersa was plenary. The Senate read the letter from President Gulag Jonathan seeking the appointment of the chairman and full time commissioners for the National Pension Commission, the appointment of chairman and commissioners of the Nigerian Law Reform Commission, NLRC, the confirmation of the chairman and members of the Niger Delta Development Commission as well as requests for the confirmation of the appointment of Mfong Akwan as the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS. Grace Ike, ITV News, Abuja.